Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we just washing the car because I wanted to shoot but the thing was the car was really filled with mud so I had to clean it. So I'm just cleaning it right now. Because I obviously wanted to shoot really wanted to tell you guys view an honest review ki how much how has the car performed till now. See you in some time bye. So guys welcome back to the youtube channel and today's video is all going to be about a walk around video of the new thar so it's around 3 months that i've bought the car and i've not really made a walk around video of it so i thought why not to make it so let's get straight into it time right now is 3:58 so just let's go this is how the car looks like right now okay so we'll start from the front so under this hood It has a 130 diesel motor, 130 horsepower, and 300 mm of torque. As you can see, these are stock factory tires. These are all terrain. 255, 65, R18 alloy wheels. के साथ हैं. And then thar badging, thar badging. And then 4x4 badging. And then these are LED brake lights. Indicator and the reverse light is still halogen. Bulb ones not LEDs. And this is the spare tire. It also has TPMS fitted in it. Like this, this thing has a sensor and which the infotainment system tells you what how much pressure does the car have and as you can see this is the small boot so we can fit around four bags easily in there it's kind of a high glass so as you can see it's my reflection there so it's kind of a very good cab around four bags will easily fit two in the low one to over them so mahindra offers one accessory with this like a snack tray so we just plan it we can put it on and it's just like the stock right now And I've just washed the car. You can just still see the water marks on here. And these are the manual instructions. This seat can be folded 50/50. So it has a lever here. I have to pull it and then go straight. And doesn't kind of make a flat bed, but then thick ho jata hai sa kam. So what I was thinking was. दर सोटन मॉडिफायर्स हु हैव डन इज लाइक यू नो इनोवा में होता है ऐसे दबाओ ना पूरा दिस थिंग गोज आगे एंड देन यू गेट मोर बूथ स्पेस सो दैट आई एम प्लानिंग टू इंस्टॉल इन दिस लाइक आई एम प्लानिंग टू इंस्टॉल द कस्टम हाउसिंग फॉर द सीटिंग दिस इज द रियो ब्रेक लाइट एंड वेन एवर यू हैव टू क्लोज द बैक साइड ऑफ द कार यू हैव टू ऑलवेज फर्स्ट क्लोज द मिरर बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी दिस इट हैज अ थिंग फॉर दिस टू लाइक यू नो जिस गो And then one bad thing about this car is it doesn't have an automatic keyless opener, but that is also there after market. So whoever wants it, you can like you know just go and modify the thing. And this is the thing from the side. Okay, so in front there is independent suspension, and in the back it is multi-link coil suspension. Like the coil springs are there. And again, thaw badging here. So this car has a lot of thar branding like everywhere. So as in as in when you open the door, you'll see thar branding here. And then this is also a nice touch. And then there small small Easter eggs like if you can see camels in the car. Okay. And then obviously thar in the mat too because I've already moved the mat. I have rubber mats and they're just drying up. And then I've installed this skid plate. Okay, no shit. Okay, and these are factory seats. It has the branding here too. Then Mahindra, this is the infotainment stuff. LED light there. Yup. And I have that pillow. That's like comfortable pillow. So we'll go back. Go back to the seat. So you like you know you have to whenever you have to like travel inside. So step low. Go inside and just sit in here. And you know. so this is like the max recline. फिर भी तुम बैठ सकते हो इसलिए. See. And 
have a good head support, obviously. And this is like in my driving position. So it, I've set the thing in my driving position. And I have a lot of new room, as you can see. So this is custom built. I got it built for Revit's customs. This is also custom built. This is also custom built. So this is there. And to be honest guys, this is just a raw roof. So you have to like, you know, fabricate the roof. Otherwise, you know, in summer times, the car will heat up really fast and it's kind of a raw plastic material. What else would you expect from? And then it has your magazine holders. And then Mahindra says it's a washable interior. So this is how the front dashboard looks like. So, yep. Okay, and these are back supporters. So you can just adjust it and then According to your adjustment, the cushion will come outwards towards the seat and it will go inwards according to your adjustment to make you have a good seating posture. So guys, the rear seat also gets adjustment functions. So it has, it is here. You know, it's a certain kind of a strap. You have to pull it and then this seat will go back. So this is the maximum recline. I'll show you just a sec. So there's a bit, see the difference. This is the maximum incline, this is the minimum incline. And these are two tweeters up here, two main speakers, and the the other one is here, and the other one is there, if you can see. Okay, it has another nice touch. So like, you know, if you have to like carry vegetable bags and all that, you can just hook it here and it'll hold you. The max rating is three kgs, but then I think it'll hold around five kgs for sure. That is just the, Certified rating, but you can obviously hold it more than that. And then just to like, you know, just to get out of the car from the back seat, you have to pull this lever upwards, and then the car will just do its work. And then you have to slide it in front, and then you have to just get out. And it's very easy to get out. Oh, damn the heat inside the car, man. So my car serial number is 14,245. let's jump on to the driving seat because that's where everybody want to be <sighs> just too much of heat here okay another thought burning again here so these are the mirror just okay what are these controls right i'll tell you what are these controls let me just hop inside and then i'll tell you let's put the key here as you can see I don't know the AC, sorry. That's the engine sound. Okay. So I'll tell you basically what all is there. So this is cruise control. So first setting the cruise control, you have to press this button, the plus one but the car should be more than 40 kilometers per hour. And this is the voice command system, but I don't know how this works. So like if you have an Apple iPhone or anything like that, an Apple product, obviously. So you can just connect it. And then when you press the button, like you can use the CarPlay here. I'll just show you how the CarPlay works. So if you press this, then the Siri will get activated. These are the wiper socks and these are the light socks. Okay. These buttons, and this like these four these four buttons are used to control this okay so now you're just seeing the fuel fuel option okay when you this is the digital speedometer okay this is for off-road uh, instructions okay now it's like in two wheel drive so if i shift it into four low four high sorry so you'll just start seeing that it has you know it'll start doing four h see so as you can guess and see is this there and then when i shift into four low it'll start showing me the four low icon also see now the car is in four low okay done so if you press this button this one so the there is another option gonna pop up okay and so this tells you the steering direction so like if i'm doing this the if you can see okay the car is going in 20 degrees right okay so this is just to basically tell you the tire direction okay and the speedometer is 180 kilometers per hour but in stock form i think we have touched around 155 kilometers per hour it's like you can already see it i'll put up the link here this 
whatever you can just see it so that video contains my road trip from chandigarh to kota and it has like the top speed test is also there so i think the car came around 155 km per hour but then you know what the thing is this screen is really upwards okay so the air strikes to the screen and then aerodynamic efficiency is not there like it's not there it's basically for off roading what would you expect obviously okay, these are the round circle vents and trust me guys the ac it's really nice the ac is really amazing it's really effective okay this buttons okay this is just to change your media source pick up the phone this is to decline the phone okay this is plus minus very easy mute ye samjhane ka zarurat nahi hai okay this is the headlight leveler okay it has a manual uh, leveler obviously okay this is the traction control button and this button is basically for hill descent control and guys trust me nobody on youtube has made a video recording hill descent control of my new mahindra thar nobody knows how to activate it and i'm just reading through the manual and i think the next video is going to be about how you use uh, hill descent control in thar 2021 because like it obviously it has to work somewhere if you just press the button and like you know you just start let off the brake pedal the car will either stall or anything like that but hill descent control doesn't work like that so there has to be certain uh, stuff done pehle then only it start working so i have to just figure out that and i'll like surely post another video regarding all that this is your hazard switch so it will start working obviously and then this is the seat belt indicator this is like to turn off the passenger airbag this is to tell you whether the passenger like whether the airbag is on or not okay so these are ac stocks okay and different modes this is to like circulate the air inside this is ac button and then this is the rear rear defogger and this is the front defogger okay and there's a very very short very small uh, compartment for storage obviously so that's the reason i got this installed this was not there earlier okay and guys okay just to uh, just one thing if you have to use apple car play or anything like that you know so you have to obviously plug it to the usb in this usb port okay and make sure the cable should be like originally apple one it should not be like a third party cable so you just have to like connect it to your phone obviously just say Yep. So now you see, this is available and it'll load. So this is how your Apple CarPlay looks like. So I'll just brush up over the infotainment system. This is the e-manual, which is very very helpful. Okay, this is the setting menu. Okay, so basically, it'll tell you your sound. It has a inbuilt kind of. I don't know. This you can just set your stuff accordingly. And then it's, it has display, and then you know you can just change everything. Then system mode all should be there. Twenty four hours time zone and all that. Okay, log reset program switch. Everything it it has it here. Okay. And then you go to the main menu. This is media. Right. So media has four five options. Okay, iPod, Aux, and all that, but it's not connected, obviously. Then it has radio. Then this is the main thing: Adventure Starter Six. This is this is on road starts. It has power. Okay. So the talk here. It has a G-force meter also. It has a compass. It has digital speedometer, and then this is the odometer. Okay. So the off road start has like degrees and all that. So it tells you the gear position indicator, then the cross temperature, whether the steering is in center or not. and then i have set the custom towards okay one is like you know two wheel drive four wheel drive low four low all the indicators here then torque meter power meter gear selector digital speedometer and the odometer okay okay so this button is for calling and this so if you press this button you enter into car information okay so it has tire tonics so as it says it's like the tire temperature is all right right now so if you this the so 31 psi 31 psi 31 31 then it has adventure adventure connect something but then it's not connected right now eco sense is there so like it says in the engine is idling so my eco score is obviously down okay then alerts are there drl you can like turn it off and turn it on here fuel info and then service info is there so it like this system is really nice like it's really amazing it has all the features you would need in a modern car and it has all the off road credentials okay So this is the 4x4 switch. So 
if you have to change into four high, you simply push this. Okay, and the car is in four high right now. We'll see. Like you know, ah, so like the option comes up here. And if you have to go into four low, no, so you have to just so the make sure your gear should be neutral. Okay, and then you have to just press the lever down. Then the car is in neutral now. So like this should be a swift motion just that I start to show you. So that's why I just put the car in neutral. Then you have to just push it pre-check, and then the car goes into four low. As you can see the sign there, and then it just shows you four low. Okay. So this is how it's done. So guys, this is the general outlook of the car. This is how the car looks like from a driver's perspective. Okay. This is the rear view mirror and. This is the dim wala mode. Like this is you can change it when you're driving at night. Okay, this button here, up. Down. Okay. This is the LED light. I've already shown you that. Horn sound, something like this. This is the general outlook of the car. Okay, so guys. Uh, the walk around is done, and now I'll give you like a owner's review of the car. So I bought the car on 18th of June 2021, and the car has already done around 3,000 kilometers. It's almost around three months. It, like it's gonna be three months on 18th of August, obviously. The car is just phenomenal in what it does. The off-road capabilities of this car is unmatched. Okay, and like you know, sometimes when you off-roading, you might feel the car is a bit down on power, but then it just The RPM setting, okay. Like, if you get this, if you get the correct RPM right, then the car will just get through anything. I've gone through a lot of off-road patches, off-road trails, and I've already shot videos on it. Like, I'll keep posting it, obviously. And I've damaged like one part of the car, like the bush. Okay, so it just got like just got bent a little bit. So, except that the car has not got anything else, like no scratches or nothing. Obviously, like the bush scratch might be there. and mind you guys i have not changed anything in terms of off road capabilities uh in near future the car is going to have an updated bumper i'm planning to buy a proud 4x4 uh, bumper and a proud underbody like a full aluminum one on the mild scene one so in the near future i'll make a video regarding how the bumper is going to get changed and i think the winch is going to come the upholstery of the car from inside is also going to change i'm just planning to like you know do a tan and a black interior and i'm going to change these seat belts to olive green just to like you know match the color out of outside the car and what else okay this roof should be fabricated guys because the thing is uh this is just mere plastic okay it's just plastic so if you fabricate the roof then there's a lesser chance of car getting heated up because while winters it's okay but then well while summers the car just heats up really fast like now as you can see i have to turn on the ac obviously because i was just sweating so for that you know the like mahindra made a really nice car and like there are some bits and pieces where they can they could be better really happy with the car which i got the car is just absolute beast it's everything it has got everything and it's just very nice so like if you have a budget of 16 lakhs you can just really go and buy it but then okay i know people will say it has a waiting of one year plus and all that and then it is just how it is i booked the car on 25th of december 2020 and i got it in like less than 6 months uh, thankfully like i'm thankful to the dealership that i have like i bought the car from shimla as you can see in the first video and the and you like and you guys have been supporting the video really well i think it crossed around 4900 views right now and i'm really happy I'm just new to all this YouTube. Just hope you guys like the videos and share the video wherever you can possibly do. Subscribe to the channel because I think the ratio of people watching my channel are not subscribed. Obviously, 20% of the people have already subscribed to the channel, but then 80% of those people who are watching the channel is not like subscribing to the channel. Before I started YouTube, I thought you know the making reviews and you know making videos is going to be really easy. Like it's not easy, guys. Trust me. Like just to make a single video, my whole day is gone, and like hats off to all the YouTubers who have already like gained so much from YouTube and who have already achieved so much from YouTube. Just hats off to them, and I just hope you guys like my content. And with all of that, I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you really like it. Share it, subscribe to the channel, and 
see you guys in another video bye